So now I'm going to try to show what happens when the the tone arm reaches the end of the record, the last groove basically. I hope this can be be kind of seen. I'm going to go ahead and activate the record player now. You can see your platter is spinning and you can see here I'm moving the tone arm and this tone arm linkage here is moving with my I'm moving actually moving it from the top right now if it would be if it would be on a record of course since the needle actually follows the grooves from the outside to the inside this thing is slowly this thing here this black arm lever here slowly see it slowly moves into the inside here I'm gonna go ahead and fake it see like it's on the last group you can see what happens here now if you notice right up here there's there's a little like a little gear a little tooth right here there's a little tooth right there and that's above this gear below and what you can't see here actually behind here there's a trip basically the trip mechanism and when this when this black piece here hopefully I can explain this correctly when this black piece here moves closer and closer in here there's, it actually hits a lever in there and it slowly pushes that in where until one of these lever these trip levers here catches on that tooth right up there if you can I don't know if I can show this I'm gonna go ahead and see, try to do this again you see um, I guess that was kind of hard I guess that was kind of hard to see okay notice now though that these teeth here are not engaged yet. So I'm moving the tone arm again to the last groove. There you can see it right there. Now it's engaged. Basically it's going to reset right there and now it's ready to play again. Okay now I'm going to do this by hand maybe a little bit slower so I'm going to take the tone arm and kind of simulate it moving over. You can see here the that lever coming over and it's going to hit right up there it's going to hit that trip lever so now I'm going to go ahead and turn the platter and you notice here again the gears are not engaged let me see if I can't focus in I guess not now they should now start if I went far enough. I may have not went far enough. There we go. See now everything is going back now. This uh, protrusion in there is, when I'm turning this, it's pushing everything back. So we're going to keep going. And once that, once this gear stops moving here, this one here, the teeth there, when it's not engaged no more, then you know it's ready for the, again, it's reset. See it right there? Now it's reset. Ready to go. Ready to go again. So I'm going to go ahead and take the platter off for um, um maybe then I can I can show the actual the two uh trip levers which again this that black piece here it you can't see it right here but it pushes against the trip lever here and in the end once it's done um it's actually two trip levers. The last trip lever catches on this 
tooth up here, basically this uh, tooth there, and that basically shuts the system off. And here, we're tipping my fingers, you can see the, that tooth again. And if we look down here, we can actually see the trip levers. Now what I'm going to do is, because i got the power off, I'm going to go ahead and push. See, I've got my, I'm moving the tone arm now. And if you keep a look on here, you'll see this is going to keep moving over here. And that would actually be, be where that tooth is. That tooth is at. So here we are from the top. I just decided to pull this apart quick right here. The It's got two trip levers on there. And remember that black arm I was talking about pushes on the bottom here. As the, as the tone arm goes, again, it... it the, it follows the grooves from the outside in until it reaches the final groove, the run out groove. And then this, of course, the, underneath here, that, that moves closer, a little bit closer and closer and closer and closer until this lever here can finally catch that tooth. In the end, I don't know if I can actually, what I'm going to do is do this by hand here. Maybe that can be seen. It should. It should start to move now pretty soon. Maybe right there. You can it can be seen right there. So it's moving there. And then that would be far enough to actually catch that to catch that tooth then and then start the shutoff process. To conclude, of course, you can see there's some grease on here. This has to move freely. And here you can see that uh, trip mechanism lever again. Of course, that's there's grease on here. You can just use uh, light silicone grease. That of course that's got to move. That's got to move freely too. If you're gonna have uh, if not, you're gonna have uh, bindings and have problems. So I hope that wasn't too um, convoluted here. What I talked about and I kind of like explained it in a halfway okay. Um, halfway okay manner oh yeah as far as I remember I think this used to be they used to call this the velocity trip um, trip mechanism there's different there's actually different kinds and this is one of the more um, off, often used kinds so now I'm taking a look at what's under here and this is a cam gear and for this I've almost got this thing off here and basically this is just a C-clip and that needs to come off of course you don't want to like touch everything either underneath here possible because this is like lubed up you don't want to make a so that's how this this is what you got <clears throat> basically underneath here and there's that I was talking about that trips that here this arm trips against this and that sets everything basically into motion now on this pin here that I'm tapping with the tip of my screwdriver that pin actually rides in this groove here and once the two gears intermesh, this gear here, the cam gear, and the gear that's on the bottom of this. I don't know if that can be seen here. Right there. That gear, the platter gear. What's going to happen then, since the gears inter intermesh, that's going to go ahead, since this pin is riding in this groove, that's going to go ahead and move that, actually move that pin. I'm going to try to simulate the conditions now. So, now if you can imagine the, the, the cam gear turning and this pin riding in the groove and that pin is going to be pushed back like that. You can already see the arm going back and right there it's going to be basically, um, should basically be reset. 